it's officially March, which means that it's pretty much kind of spring. And kind of spring means that seniors are gonna be choosing what colleges they want to go to. If you're a senior and you've gotten into UW, first off, congratulations, that's amazing. You probably clicked on this video because you're interested in a student perspective on the University of Washington. So here are a few pros and cons that I've come up with. All right, I guess I'll just start off with the cons because may as well get the bad ones over with first, right? Um, the biggest con to the University of Washington, I would say, are just the weed out courses and there's so many rumors surrounding the University of Washington and all of our weed out courses and I'd say these rumors all hold pretty true. Most of the courses, at least in STEM, like introductory chemistry and introductory biology, math, all of those are curved to about a 2.6 to a 2.9 average. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Most people fall within this range and so it's really, really hard to stand out and succeed and this gets most people down when they come here. Related to weed out courses are just low acceptance rates to majors. I've known so many people who have gotten into the University of Washington and who have gotten into the classes that they want. Amazing. Well, if you don't do well in those classes, at least not well to the standard that you dub holds, um, you may or may not get into your major. So many people that I've known have had to transfer out of the university because they've applied to a major with like a 30 or 40% acceptance rate and even though they have three eights or three nines in their classes, they'll still get rejected, which really sucks. So just note that when deciding to come here. And the third con that I have is just the winters. The winters suck. If you haven't heard the term SAD or seasonal affective disorder before, then you definitely will when you get to UW. November, December timeframe is probably when it gets the worst. Um, the sun goes down at about 4 p.m. every single day and it's overcast. Actually, my first winter here back in Seattle, there's a period where it was overcast for 29 or 30 days straight. It kind of felt like I was trapped in a box and most people kind of just were not having it. A lot of people left, a lot of people decided to go back to California for the weekend because they couldn't handle it. I will tell you, winters are really, really tough um, and very rainy. Seattle is known for being rainy. Freshman year, I didn't have any rain boots, so I'd walk around in my sneakers and I ended up buying a pair of boots, but the pair of boots that I had had holes in the bottom. So every time I'd walk to campus, I'd get water up my boots and it really sucked. So just note the rain, rain sucks. On to the pros. I'm obviously biased because I love my university, but I would say that there are so many more pros that outweigh the cons to going here. First one being social life. University of Washington is so big that no matter who you are, no matter what your interests are, you can pretty much find your crowd. I have friends who go to much smaller institutions and they all struggle making friends. Not all, that's an exaggeration. A lot of them struggle making friends at first because it's so hard to meet people, but at the University of Washington, you're exposed to so many people, hundreds even in large classes. And if you live in the dorms, then you'll definitely have a lot of chances to meet people. And so it's really, really easy to make friends. Oh, clubs too. Clubs are a great way to make friends and there's so many at UW. They're called RSOs here, but same thing. And they're so, so fun and a great way to socialize and meet people. Another pro that's not as well known at the university and that kind of holds dear to my heart um, with my own personal experience is the interdisciplinary honors program. Yeah, I feel like the honors program is mostly made fun of. <laughs> um, everyone in it is a nerd and that's true too, but the thing is, you meet so many people from across so many different backgrounds and the classes you take, you cannot find anywhere. When I first got here, one of the first classes that I ever took was called Political Ecology of Death in the Anthropocene. Yeah, it was a wacky class and I was terrified because my professor had published so many papers and was even on a TED talk, but it was one of the most profound courses I've ever taken and I met so many people and I made really close friends. Another pro is all the research opportunities that the university has to offer. Now with COVID, that's a little bit different. There aren't as many research opportunities. All the labs are closed, but normally there are so many labs open. And this is just because every single professor that teaches at the university does research. And I think that's a requirement across the university, but yeah, research, amazing, do it. And the last pro that I have well, I could never have a last pro. There are so many to the university, but the last one that I chose is just the campus. They're, it's so beautiful. Between Mount Rainier and the cherry blossoms and the quad, and the fact that it's an urban college that has its own giant campus makes it so, so nice. There's so much space. All the buildings are 
separated but close enough that you feel like you can walk. I'd say probably a 15 minute walk is the furthest that I've ever had to walk. Um, but there's so many plants on campus, so many flowers. Oh my gosh, spring is a gorgeous time when all the flowers are blooming across campus. And it's just something that I kind of take for granted, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And it's close to the city too. So there's so many opportunities for people that want to maybe work in a hospital or get an internship that you don't really get in a rural setting. Hopefully this video helped. Again, I'm really new to YouTube, so I just really want to make something that will help at least one person. If you like this video, please like it. And that's all I have to say. Bye.